Imagine you're opening a browser and the first thing you see is a company's intranet. When you see an engaging homepage with exactly the information you're looking for, doesn't that feel great? You don't need to click around to find your work files and the colors and images look consistent to the company's brand. So today I'm going to show you how to build a SharePoint homepage that looks just like that. We're going to use SharePoint out of the box and origami applications. And if you don't have origami already, check out the links in the video below to see how you can get it. So let's get to it. First, before we start building a new SharePoint homepage, we need to make sure it's in line with my branding guidelines. So where do you get these branding guidelines? Usually, your marketing or communications department has what they call a style guide. And in that style guide, there is one important page and it looks something like this. It will have your company's primary and secondary colors and that's the minimum we need. We will use these colors throughout our homepage for things like images, buttons, and text. Let's begin with the blank page in Microsoft 365. I want the top of my page to be bright and visible like company public website. My goal here is to give employees access to the most urgent announcements and frequently used tools. So when they log in early in the morning and open their browsers, they can get started with their day fast. So let's go ahead and add a news carousel to this page. I'm going to add a new section first and make it a full width section. And I'm going to select this app called Carousel with Expanding Quick Links, which is part of Origami. Since I've already procreated a couple of news items here, I can see my news showing in a carousel along with the links to some of the most commonly used applications. Next, Let's add a few countdown timers for some important deadlines for my employees to keep track of. First one will be for the performance review deadline. You can customize how your countdown timers look like. In my case, I'll just enter the title of what we're counting down to and maybe some additional detail, including the link for more information. You can also update some background images to make the countdown match the style guide. Okay, we have one countdown added. Let's add another one for the new product launch. We'll keep the style as the previous one. Great, let's keep going. Because I have more tools and links that I want to show, I will add them as buttons next to the countdown timers. For that, I will add a new app called Quick Links. It's one of the origami apps and I will point it to show links from the SharePoint list I created earlier. We can change the color and other settings here below, but we'll leave ours as is. Now let's add some space before creating the next section. What I want to include next is a search directory that will quickly help employees find things like forms and templates. So here, I'll add a label for my forms and templates. Okay, let's add a origami forms directory app from the list. Now, because I already have some forms on my site, it automatically pulls them nicely into the list with tags and everything. The list is quite long and I want to make it a bit shorter and show only five search results. So I'll set it here. You see, now it only shows the first five items and users can click load more if they need to. Okay, let's now make a place for news. So employees can see things like the latest leadership updates and so on. So let's add a header for new section. Now, because I want to make my internet homepage more interactive, I'll put a couple videos coming from Microsoft Stream. Since I already have a few videos in my library, I'll just go ahead and insert the link to my first video. 
let's give this video some title and description and let's also include a button for more details and link to an article now i want to insert three more videos from my stream library so I'll just duplicate what i've done with the first video so here i have four videos now that i've added news i want to include something for employees to see how the company is doing and things like kpis let's show sales performance stats for different business locations for that i'll use origami's kpi app that shows data from the sharepoint list that i created earlier in that list i also set the colors and labels for each of these boxes and i know one of the boxes shows at the bottom but when i publish this page it will look okay because it will have more space okay great now let's add staff directory so my employees can easily find their colleagues for that we'll use origami staff directory app let's first add a label here like we did before i'm going to add a staff directory app next and you will see that it starts to load my employee profiles right away and by the way all of this context come from the active directory so uh, as you add new employees they will automatically show here with all the details let's make the app show two rows of context instead of just one so i'll adjust this one in options here that's it i'll just click apply and we are good to go okay so now that it's done, I want to create a place on my homepage where I give employees answers to their most common questions. For that, I will use Origami's Q&A app. You can see that there are some questions and answers here already. These come from my SharePoint list I created earlier. This app is really cool because if you have a lot of questions, it will let users expand the answers they want to see which can save you some space and make the bottom of the page look better. All right, it looks like we're almost done. And to make the bottom of this page look a bit more alive, let's add a colorful banner to wrap it up. For that, I'll use origami banner. This one looks more like a news carousel, so I'll make some updates here in the banner properties to make it look more like a footer. That's it. Let's publish this page and take a look at how it all comes together. And this is how you design an internet homepage that will make a fantastic first impression on your employees. If you have any questions, let us know below. And if you want to know more about origami, check our website at origamiconnect.com. I'll see you soon and happy branding.